What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Kern Rider. Kern Rider Kicks, coming to you live from the shoe locker. Just, man, um, coming to you today with just a little short video. Just my thoughts, man, T, what I've been thinking about, the stuff that's on my mind. Looking a little rough, man. Need a shave, a haircut, but you know how I get down. I'm always grinding, always doing something with shoes, man. It don't really matter to me. Um, yeah, man, just, uh, been chilling, man, been trying to get pickups, been, you know, checking out the shoe scene, seeing what's all going on, and for the most part, man, I'm just really, just kind of disgusted right now, I guess this more or less like a little video, just to let me vent, or whatever, or just have real talk with you, and the thing that, I'm really disgusted by is just the state that the whole quote unquote shoe game is where it's at now. And man, it's to be honest, it's just ridiculous, man. It's 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 at a sad state right now, man. Uh we just gonna have a real talk today, man. Just go back and just talk. And um just tell you how this thing started and just have a real talk. You know, you might be bored when you watch the video, cut it off. You know, some people might think that I might have something that they might want to hear say. But the thing is, man, uh, basically a brief history is that um, the first pair of Jordans that I ever put on my feet were the OG Joy 1s. And uh, my cousin had a pair that he had wore out, man, dogged them out, and, um, I saw him in his closet, and I was like, man, let me have these, he was like, yeah, go ahead, man, you can have them, and I remember I put them on, and they had the wings on, I was like, oh, this is a dope shoe, and then, um, you know, and I wore those shoes, like, to death, to death, and, um, like, I never could get joints when I was a little kid growing up, I know you heard this story before, oh, I never could get joints, so now I buy every pair but I remember my cousin had the black cement fours and he had me down that pair also. And I remember he had me down, they was wore out the, you know how the black cement fours got have like the new buck suede like material. And then sometimes once, once, once it gets worn, you can see the white underneath. That's how it had spots like that all on. And I remember just cleaning them and getting them right and just busting them and I just remember like I was like man it's just the dopest shoe this just so cool of a shoe and then Jordan wears this shoe and I just fell in love with him man. and I just used to always wear my cousin hand me down and I remember the first pair that I actually bought my first pair of Jordans were the Aqua 8s I had actually saved up a little bit of money and talked my mom into giving me the rest, and I scored the Aqua 8s. And I still have the shoe to this day, the Aqua 8, that same one I bought. I still have it. And um, so sentimental to me because that's the first one I bought. So, you talking about, and I bought the Aqua 8, like, I think I was in like 8th grade when I got this shoe. It was like 90 something, man. I don't even remember the year. But just the throw that out there. I've been doing this a long time. I've been loving the shoes a long time. I've been collecting shoes a long time and I just see where it's gone, man. Just like out of all the joys that I got when I was like in middle school and high school because after I thought school that first pair of Aqua Eights, I started just getting them all. You know, I save a little money, get my mom, give me the rest. Save a little bit, get my mom, give me the rest. And the only shoe that I ever saw a line for was the first time when the Bread 11s came out. The OG Bread 11s, that was the only time when I saw a line. I remember going to the mall that morning and they would raise the gate up, let four people in, buy shoes, and then leave. It's like the only shoe that ever sold out <clears throat> that ever had a line. And um, I remember me and my partner, we was talking about, just last week, we was talking about, when they first retro the Bread 11 in 2000, 
It came out on a Wednesday. All retros used to drop on a Wednesday morning. But you old heads, you'll remember that. That they used to drop on Wednesday morning. Not like Saturday mornings like they do now. And uh, I remember they retro it again. That Wednesday morning. And actually, I didn't go get mine until like Saturday. Because I wasn't even going to get it. Because I still had the other one. And then I was like, man, that's a classy shoe. So I'm going to go back and pick it up. And I remember going to the mall on a Saturday and picking it up. And my thing was, it was still there. And uh, even up until not that long ago, I mean recently, because I bought my <coughs> Bordo 7s for the second time. The first time I bought the OGs when they came out. Well, no, I didn't buy the OGs. I had the OGs that were handed down to me. And the second time, when the Bordeaux dropped, not a couple years back, man, they just sat on shelves because people just went really just crazy about joints like that. And they sat on the shelves. And I remember getting mine from Champs for uh, 99 bucks, actually. I'm like, oh, they were still on the shelf. And uh, so, but then of late, it's just like the last couple, well, the last two years, maybe, it's just like been an explosion of, Jordans and the way people just got to have Jordans and the way people just going crazy over Jordans and the way they just thirsty for Jordans. Um, it just think that ridiculous. Because, I mean, even last year, Jordan didn't drop a shoe every year. I mean, every, excuse me, every week. He may have dropped one a month. Then you may get one next month. Then you may not even get one to, like, he may drop one like in, you may drop one like in September, then you may not get nothing in October, and then you might get something in November for Good Friday, and then you would get that release, that Christmas release. But now, it's just every week, jump, 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 jump. So much junk is just ridiculous, man. And these young cats that's just crazy to have shoes, they just going crazy just to have shoes. They don't even care what it is, what it look like, if they like it or not, just as long as it's a Jordan. I got to have a Jordan. I got to have a Jordan. And they're just going crazy. And they're just killing the game. And the fact of it is like the the Jordan, the 6 that dropped this past Saturday. The, uh, the Spike Lee 6. I wanted this shoe because I like the white bottom on I was going to do something with that white bottom. I was going to keep the top red. And I was going to customize that white bottom. It was just like the perfect canvas to me. So I woke up early, got on Nike.com. Couldn't get the shoe. First of all, I couldn't get the shoe because uh, everybody's selling bots now to help you get the shoes. So all the bots got all the shoes out, you know, at cart services. So I missed out on it. But the thing that killed me and made me really make this video is that the shoe dropped at 7 my time. By 7.10, it was sold out. And by 8 o'clock my time, I look on Instagram and it's just rows and rows and rows of the shoe for sale. I'm like, what the freak? I mean, rows and rows of the shoe for sale. I'm like... Out of all these shoes that were sold this morning, did anyone buy this shoe to wear it? You know what I'm saying? Like, what did you buy it for? When you see rows and rows and rows, like I saw at least, I wore a size 14. Saturday morning by 9 o'clock, I saw at least 10 to 15 size 14s for sale just on Instagram. Like, just on one Instagram page. And I'm like... This is just ridiculous. I'm talking about this is like from different people. And I'm like, and then the prices were like, the shoe was a, a shoe that was released for, it was a general release shoe for 170 And everywhere I saw 300 300 ship, 320 300 plus PayPal fees. I'm like, come on, man. I'm like, who made up this price for this shoe? Like, who did this? But the thing is that, it's so many cats that's just thirsty for shoes, just thirsty to have any release that they're going to pay it. And I really can't blame a person for selling it if someone's going to buy it. I mean, because they're going to do it. And the main thing, man, I didn't mean to make a long, long rant video, 
But the main thing that's, that's, that's really on my mind is the fact that because of the thirst for these shoes and the people that are pay, pay, excuse me, pay any price for them, now you just got a flooded, just like a tidal wave of fake shoes. I mean, everywhere you look, fake shoes, fake shoes. And the Chinese websites, they're making the shoes and they call them quote-unquote authentics. And that word is just being thrown out there on, man, all these fake shoes. And it's just disheartening to me because of the fact that it's so many fake. It's people just, just paying top dollar for fake shoes. It's people that are on Instagram right now with four size runs of the Legend Blues that's dropping way in December. If you have a full size run of that shoe right now, I guarantee you that shoe is fake. I mean, come on. How do a dude that sells shoes out of the back of his truck have a full size, or the back of his van has a, have a full size run of the shoe and big retailers don't? So you mean to tell me that they'll give Joe Blow the shoe that sell out of the back of his truck before they would Champs, Foot Locker, Nike? Come on now. That don't even make sense. And then now the Chinese websites are going back making old fake shoes and call them authentics and yeah it makes me mad and i may be in a people a lot of people be like well you just salty because people getting the shoes that you got and i'm like no you're not you getting a fake shoe just like i'm starting to see like droves and droves of lightning fours just pop up on ebay for sale and then my friend said the reason why you see it man is because he sends me a link to a Chinese website and they have lightning fours under the authentic section. Come on, man. I'm like, that's a classic shoe that I had for the longest. Lightning four. I bought the shoe when it dropped. That's a shoe that when you wear it, it's just like, man, he got a lightning four. Where did you get that from? And now every Joe Bl Blow can just go to the Chinese website and buy a fake lightning four. Because they call it quote unquote authentic. I'm not gonna lie, man. It's really sad to me that where the game is just going. Because cats just want shoes. They don't care what kind of shoes. They just want shoes. Want shoes. And that's like where we at now, man. It's just sad. So many fakes, man. Fake organ shoes. Let me tell you one thing about an organ shoe. Most of the Oregon shoes were made for the players, made for the team. So there are only so many. Nobody's going to have a full-size run of Oregon 4s or something like that. How, how do you have a full-size run of a shoe that was made for the football team? Come on, guys. You got to be smarter than this because you're getting raped out here. You can rate for high quality knockouts, high quality fakes. And I mean, I could go on and on all day, man. I know you probably said, man, shut up, review a shoe or something like that, but and that's another thing. I'm I'm so I'm grateful that I wear a size 14. Because the Chinese websites, they only make they quote unquote authentic shoe, fake knockoffs, to a size 13. So when I get a 14, I don't have to worry about that bull. I don't even have to. I still do research, but I don't have to research as hard as other people because I wear a size 14. But, yeah, man, so I just went on and went on, but I didn't mean to go on like that. But I'm going to get on a lighter note. This week I did pick up a grill, one that I had been wanting, one that I had been looking for. I had it. And end up, I don't know, it just disappeared. So when something just disappeared, it means somebody stole it. But I think one of my cousins probably borrowed it and never returned it. That's why I stopped borrowing shoes, letting people wear my shoes. But I did pick up a grill this week, Jordan 7 Olympic, one I had been wanting. She got the laces, everything, real sweet, real buttery. Still smell new. 
everything. So, I picked this up from a guy in Atlanta, actually. He said he wore it one time, and it looks like it, because it's in real great shape. But you can't see that he wore it on the bottom. But, Jordan Olympic 7, size 14, happy to have it. So, that's about it, man. That's about all I had today, man. I appreciate you listening to this rant I had. I'm probably not going to... This video done got to be like 17 minutes, so I'm probably going to cut the front part off, man, or something like that and just break it down a little bit. But, appreciate you listening to me rant. Sometimes I get emotional, man, because I put a lot of effort into this thing. It's your boy, Kern Rider. Kern Rider Kicks. Live from the shoe lock. Peace.